On this lesson, I will show you how to work with Google Cloud Platform. It will be only one example, simple, really. We will bring a EC2 instance, EC2 instance, sorry, a Google a virtual machine. <laughs> okay. So here, let's create new folder, call it lab2, gcp example, and create new file, main df will be. Okay, first we need to tell to Terraform that we're going to work with Google. So, provider, Google. And we need to set up few parameters. Uh, all of those parameters can be exported as environment variables, but we'll, uh, I will set up them here, like basically I will hard code them, and we'll show you how to export the uh, environment, what the name of the environment variables also. Here are the four uh, parameters which I'm uh, setting up. Credentials, I'm taking the credentials from uh, some specific JSON file. I, I will show you how to generate this JSON file. Also, these credentials can be like if you don't want to hard code it, you just can export gcloud underscore k file underscore json in the name of the file, basically the path to the file. Another one, on which project we, of Google we're going to work. I will work, I will work on a project called production 25, 16, 18. You can also export, a, like if you don't want to write it here, you can export environment variables called gcloud project in the name of the project. Uh, same which region you will want to work and which zone in this region we want to work and all of them can be exported as environment variables so you basically can uh, can export only environment variables and not write it here okay let's create one resource called google compute instance resource google compute instance and we'll call it my server for example just you can name it as you wish name name of the server will be let's say my gcp server machine type will be uh, the small one f1 micro let's save it okay it's nice right boot disk And here we set up which image we're going to use. It will it going to use default network. So this enable private 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 IP address. And let's enable also public IP address. For this, just this one line, access, config, and just don't specify nothing. This enable public IP address. address. Okay, we're ready. Basically, we need just two things. We need to generate this file and put it here. And also we need to enable API of the compute by, because by default, then you just open a Google account, Google Cloud account, you can do nothing basically. You need to enable all like all the services you need to enable one by one. We can enable it from Terraform, but we'll show you some simple uh, example because it's really example. Okay, <coughs> so let's log into your uh, Google Cloud console. And let's generate the uh, uh, file. A credential files. So let's switch to the project where you want to work. We're going to work on in production. Let's switch to production. Just it's list of your projects. Just go to your project where you want to execute the from. Okay, let's go to IEM and where is it? Service account. Okay, click create service account. Let's name it Terraform. So a description used by terraform create a uh, permissions because i want my terraform user to create as much as possible in my uh, production projects i'm going to give it project owner permission continue and here just click done okay a uh, service account created let's generate the key you see create key and json uh, format create and basically that's all you just need to save this file you see uh, this file uh, let's save it in our a uh, folder where, the, where where we're writing our term from 
Okay, it's done. Uh, another step, as I told you, uh, by default in Google, nothing is enabled. Any service you need to enable, we can do it from Terraform, but let's do it just you know, for console. Let's go to Compute Engine VM Instance. When you're going to here for the first time, you see it's going to enable computing engine. This is basically it's enabling creation of the VMs, virtual machines. Basically, then it will be ready. That's all. We can just execute our Terraform and it will create the uh, VM instance here. So let's switch back here. You see, this is our credential JSON file. Let's rename it and give it the same name as here. Like some simple. Okay, basically that's all. Credentials, we'll find the credentials here. Uh, just remember, never, never, never push your credentials into the GitHub, Bitbucket or like repository, basically. Uh, okay, let's see here if it's finished, not yet. Let's wait. Okay, it's enabled, you see, we don't have any uh, VM instances here. So let's uh, go to our Terraform and create it. This is our Terraform code. I just did some small mistake here. We just need yeah, it's to <laughs> to own the Google. That's all. We can uh, execute our Terraform. Let's go here. Log two. Terraform init. And as you see, it's going to download HashiCorp Google provider. Okay. Can execute Terraform plan. And it was fast, really, just for Google, it's really fast here. So it's going to create Google Compute Instance called My Server and we'll use these settings, basically. Okay, let's execute Google Apply and IPS. And it starts creating our server. You can switch the console and refresh here. Okay, you see our service uh, provisioning. Switch back here. Uh, okay, our server is created. Let's refresh it. Yeah, we have my GCP server with internal IP and also we enable external IP. This is the simplest example to bring up VM a server and Google Cloud Platform using Terraform. And anyway, if you want to see how to bring a working web server on Google, I created something for you. Let just let me rename this to like maybe something XYZ. This Terraform file is a creating Apache web server based on Ubuntu. It's working fine. You can use it just as example. Basically, we see same provider settings. We're creating two additional resources, and the loop is basically uh, APIs. We're enabling two APIs: Google uh, Compute and Google Cloud uh, Resource Manager. We're creating firewall rule to open port 18443 to everyone on the default network, and this is our compute uh, instance. The changes here, as you can see, basically it's only metadata startup script. We're just providing startup script uh, and bootstrapping uh, Apache and creating some simple web page with web with one basic basically line. And all these depend on the APIs and the firewall rules. Basically, let's execute this and just test it out. Okay, it's done. Let's go here. This is our server. Let's copy external IP. And web server on GCP built by Terraform. Yeah, looks like it worked. And just let's destroy everything. Destroy. 